हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एकेडमिक मेड इजी पीसी इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सब्सक्राइब इट एंड आल्सो क्लिक द बेल आइकन in this video we will be learning exercise 3.2 from the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables till now we were learning how to represent the given word problems in algebraic method and graphical method so in this exercise we will be learning how to find the solution for the given pair of linear equation through graphical method so already we saw some important introduction in the introduction part so i think you will be little clear so now let's move on to the questions and i will make you very very clear and i will give you some easy tips to do this exercise question 1 form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically now the word problems are given and we have to find their algebraic representation that is we have to find the equations in terms of x and y no that is what they are saying then after that through that only we will be able to do it graphically so now let's see the question subdivision 1 10 students of class 10 took part in the mathematics quiz if the number of girls is four more than the number of boys find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz so this types of questions is very easy because see 10 students so 10 students students here will have x and y okay so 10 students of class 10 only is given they have not said so much of girls and so much of boys so girls and boys all together it is 10 students took part in the mathematics quiz so now they are saying that number of girls is four more than the number of boys so this is the second part of the equation that is the second equation so number of girls is four than number of boys okay so number of boys plus four gives the number of girls over here so now we have to find the number of boys and number of girls who took part in the quiz and this we have to find it graphically So now we'll move on to the solution. So now first we have to take two variables that is x and y. No, so now let's take here. Nothing is given. Only to, a total is given. So all together only is given. No, so in class ten, class ten students may be girls or boys. So we don't know here. Nothing is given, and here number of girls and number of boys is given. So since first girls is given, let me take the number of girls as x and the number of boys as y. So I have taken the number of girls as x and the number of boys as y. So now let's see the first part of the question. So this is the first part of the question. No, so ten students of class ten took part in mathematics quiz. It is not given how many boys and how much girls. So I will take that x plus y is equal to ten. Okay, so here. Now number of girls plus number of boys is equal to ten. Okay, so the total number of students is ten. Yeah. So if I move on to the second part of the question, this will be the second part of the question, isn't it? The number of girls. So the number of girls is represented by x. No, so x is equal to is. No, so I I've written is equal to. So four more than the number of boys. So number of boys is y. So Four more means uh, addition of four, so y plus four. So if I have my variables in one side, so x minus y is equal to four. This will be my equation. So let this be equation one and this be equation two. So now we have found the pair of linear equations. So now we have to find the Solution through uh, graphically, you know. So what we have to do, we have to plot the points. In order to plot the points, we have to have the solution table for each and every pair of linear equations. So now let's start to do the solution table for the equations. So consider equation one. That is x plus y is equal to ten. So now let's start drawing the solution table. 
so let this be x and y so now i will take one variable in terms of other variables so let me take y is equal to 10 minus x so if i have y as 0 so in first case i will have y as 0 so i will have 0 is equal to 10 minus x so x is equal to 10 i will have okay so this is 10 and if i have x as 0 then i will have 10 minus 0 is 10 only so i will have 10 over here so therefore the required points for this is 10 comma 0 and 0 comma 10 so now consider equation 2 that is x minus y is equal to 4 isn't it so now i will have x is equal to 4 plus y so now x and y will be if my y is 0 if i take my y as 0 i will have x is equal to 4 so if i have my x as 0 so i will have 0 is equal to 4 plus y isn't it so i will have minus 4 is equal to y so if i take it this side so minus 4 no so i will have if i take my x as 0 i will have minus 4 so therefore the required coordinates are 4 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 4 these are the required coordinate points so now i have found the coordinates for point for here y equation 1 as well as equation 2 so now let's start plotting the graph so now let's start plotting so before plotting you have to write the scale so for this you may get half a mark okay so these are all very very important things that had to be noted these are the silly mistakes that we will be doing while we do the graph so scale is very important and marking x x dash y y dash and all is very very important so now let's start plotting the points so for the first equation let us do first so first it is 10 comma 0 isn't it so let me have this as x and y so this is in the form of x comma y only no so i will take my x as 10 and y is equal to 0 so it is 10 comma 0 no so it will be easy for us so 10 for x so x is it is over here and for y it is 0 over here so the meeting point only we will be taking so this is 10 comma 0 so the next one here it is 0 comma 10 so 0 for x axis is here and 10 it is over here so therefore this is 0 comma 10 so now we will be joining these two points so this is the line for the first equation so now let us write the equation so x plus y is equal to 10 so next equation is x minus y is equal to 4 the, therefore the coordinates is here so now for 4 comma 0 no so here 4 is here for x and 0 is here so i will be marking it over here so it is 4 comma 0 so next here it is 0 comma minus 4 so x is 0 y is minus 4 so x is 0 over here and y is minus 4 over here so i will be taking this as 0 comma minus 4 so now i will be joining these two points x minus y is equal to 4 this is the equation so i wrote it and i already said you the intersection point will be the solution for the given pair of linear equations now so therefore the intersection is over here 7 comma 3 so this is the intersection so now i will be joining these two so now i have joined these two lines so therefore i will conclude my question saying that my x value is 7 and y value is 3 what was x it was number of girls isn't it so x represents the number of girls so therefore the number of girls is equal to 7 and y represents the number of boys 
so what is number of boys then three so from you will be writing therefore from the graph it is clear that the given pair of linear equations is consistent and intersects at one point so from that we get x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 3 so therefore we can conclude like this so from the graph we have found this solution so it was given uh, the total number of students who's pa getting participated in maths quizzes is 10 so 7 plus 3 is 10 so first equation is satisfied so the next equation what it says that the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys so number of girls is 7 so 4 more than number of boys means 3 plus 4 so 3 plus 4 is 7 even that equation is satisfied so this is the correct answer Division 2, 5 pencils and 7 pens together costs rupees 50. Whereas 7 pencils and 5 pens together cost rupees 46. Find the cost of 1 pencil and that of 1 pen. So what is given in the question is that they have given the co uh, number of pens and number of pencils and the cost of it and so the total cost is given and we have to find the individual cost. So here it is given 5 pencils and 7 pens cost how much? Rupees 50. And in the next part of the question it is said that 7 pencils and 5 pens cost rupees 46. So now what we have to find? We have to find the cost of pencil and 1 pen. 1 pencil and 1 pen we have to find. That is let us take that as x. So let one cost of 1 pencil be x and cost of 1 pen be y. So solution. So let the cost of 1 pencil be x and 1 pen be why so now from this uh, question given we will start finding the equation so five pencils pencils is represented by x that is the cost of the pencil is represented by x so five into x together is given no? so this will be addition so plus 7 into what is pen pen cost of pen is y so 7y is equal to the total cost is 50 rupees 50 so 7x uh, 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 this will be the equation 1 so now if we move on to the next equation so 7 pencils and 5 pen so 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so this will be equation 2 so now let us consider the equations individually and let's find the coordinate points consider 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 okay so this i will write let me take x alone so if i take x is equal to 50 I will take the 7y this side so minus 7y divided by 5 this coefficient of x okay so now let me start drawing the solution table so x y so first let me have my x as 0 so if I have my x as 0 so this will be 0 isn't it so if I cross multiply also I will have 0 only so uh, 0 into 5 is equal to 50 minus 7y. So, uh, I will take the 7y this side. So, 7y is equal to 50. So, y is equal to 50 divided by 7 which is 7, 7 7's are 49. No? So, which is very close. So, I will take 7.1 is reminder. So, 1, 1, 4. So 7.14 if I, if my x is equal to 0 then I will have 7.14. So in case if I take my y as 0 so I have taken my y as 0 isn't it so I will have x is equal to 50 minus 0 by 5. So 50 minus uh, 0 is 50 only so 50 divided by 5 is 10 so I will have 10 here. 
okay so it is very very easy to take the values of x and y zero then if you have x as zero then you can find the value of y and if you have the value of y as zero you can find the value of x so this is one of the easy method so therefore the required points are So now let us consider the second equation. So consider equation 2 that is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. So now let me draw the solution table. So this will be my x and y. So if, my t if I take my x as 0. Okay, so my x is 0. So, 7x will become 0 over here. So, 5y is equal to 46 I will have. So, y is equal to 46 divided by 5. So, 5 ones are 5. So, 5 9 times 45 and reminder is 1. So, point two. So, 9.2 is my answer for this. So, if I take my y as 0. So, I have taken this y as 0, isn't it? So, I will have this as 0. Now, this term will become 0. So, 7x is equal to 46. So, x is equal to 46 divided by 7. So, 7, 6 times 42. Okay, 4 is reminder, no? So, point 0.5. So, you need not to write after this. So, let me write only 6.5. So, therefore, the required coordinates are 0, 9.2 and 6.5, 0. So, now let's start plotting the points. Before plotting the graph, once more I am repeating, writing of the scale is very, 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 very important. And do mark this x dash, x and y, uh, y dash and y over there. Okay, so now let's start plotting. For the first equation, it is 0, uh, 7.14. For this is x and this is y. So x is 0 and y is 7.14. So 0, 7.1 is over here. So 7.14 will be in between. So just mark it. So it is 0, 7.14. Okay, so the next it is 10, 0. No, so 10, 0. So now we will be joining these two points. So now I will be just writing the equation on top of this line. So 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. So now let's plot for the second equation that is 7x plus 5y is equal to 42. So 0, 1. 9.2 0 and 9.2 is over here 0 comma 9.2 so next it is 6.5 comma 0 so 6.5 comma 0 is over here so i will be joining these two lines now i will be writing the equation that is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so there is an intersection line isn't it so i will be just looking at so what is the point at which it is um, joining it is 3 comma 5 isn't it so therefore it is 3 comma 5 now i will be concluding that So, the solution for the given equation is found graphically. It has one intersecting point that is consistent. So, we will be just concluding every word problems like this only. Even for the previous sum, we will be concluding it in such a way. So, from the graph, it is clear that x value is 3 and y value is 5. No, So, the cost of one pencil is 3 and cost of one pen it is 5. Question 2. On comparing the ratios A1 by A2, B1 by B2 and C1 by C2, find out whether the lines representing the following pairs of linear equations intersect at a point or parallel or coincident. So now, 
ऑलरेडी वी लर्न इन द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट नो सो ए वन बाई ए टू नॉ ए टू नॉट ईक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू एंड ए वन बाई ए टू ईक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू ईक्वल टू सी वन बाई सी टू एंड ए वन बाई ए टू ईक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू नॉट ईक्वल टू सी वन बाई सी टू we learnt all these no so do you all remember if you have not watched that video or if it is confusing for you these formulas just watch that video i will attach the link in the description box so if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then they are intersecting lines that is they have one common point okay as a solution so if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 then they both are coincident lines so it means it has infinitely many solutions that is dependent consistent okay so next a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 then it is inconsistent it means it does not have any solutions okay so now let's see for the given questions Subdivision one: five x minus four y plus eight is equal to zero. Seven x plus four y minus nine is equal to zero. So now solution. So these are the two given equations. So let this be equation one and let this be equation two. So the general form for the any pair of linear equations is. A one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero, and A two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. And so now we have this formulas. No, so A one is five, b one is minus four, c one is eight. We'll be just substituting like that. So now we have to compare the coefficient of x, y, and the constant. So now. So compare the coefficient of x and y and the constant term. So now we will be writing it. So what is my a one? A one is over here. It is five. Okay. So five divided by my a two is seven. Just don't write in between anything that is equal to or not equal to and all. So first b one is minus four and c b two is six. Minus four by six. Okay, so you just compare these two. First, take a one by a two, b one by b two. Okay, so if it is equal, you just write c one by c two over here. If not, you just can stop with this. So five by seven. We don't have any ratios for this. So minus four by six can be written as minus two by three. Okay, so let me write this equal to itself. But five by seven is not equal to minus two by three. Yes, so it is positive here. It is negative over here. Is five by seven equal to two by three? No, not at all. So therefore, it is a one by a two. Not equal to b one by b two. Then it implies that these two have intersecting lines. That is only one common point as a solution. So therefore, what we have to conclude that it is intersecting and it is consistent. So therefore, the given pair of linear equations intersect at one point. That's it. Subdivision two: nine x plus three y plus twelve is equal to zero. Eighteen x plus six y plus twenty four is equal to zero. So now for this only we have to check the ratios, isn't it? That is, we have to compare the ratios. So this will be my equation one, and this will be my equation two. So now the general form, no? The general form for any equation is that is pair of linear equation is a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero and a two x plus b two y plus c one c two is equal to zero. So now we will be comparing the coefficient of x and y and also the constant terms. So first I will be writing a one by a two and b one by b two alone. 
so a1 by a2 is equal to 9 by 18 which is 1 by 2 yes so next i will be moving on to b1 by b2 so b1 by b2 is equal to 3 divided by 6 so 3 divided by 6 which is also 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 i will take so now c1 by c2 if i take 12 divided by 24 so 12 divided by 24 is also 1 by 2 so a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 is equal that is 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 that is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 then Therefore, the given pair of linear equations are dependent consistent that is they are coincident lines. That's it. Subdivision 3, 6x minus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0, 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0. So, these are the two given equations. So, the general form for any pair of linear equation is this. I have written this. So, now let us compare the coefficient of x and y and also the constant term. So, now a1 by a2 is equal to 6 divided by 2. So, say, uh, 6 by 2 it is 3. So, next I will be moving on to b1 by b2. So, b1 by b2 is minus 3 by minus 1. So, this is also 3 because minus and minus will get cancelled. So, c1 by c2 is equal to 10 divided by 9. So, which is 10 divided by 9 only. So, now I will be comparing. So, 3 is equal to 3 not equal to 10 by 9 yes so therefore i will write a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 so therefore they are parallel lines so therefore the given pair of linear equations are parallel that's it Question 3. On comparing the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, find out whether the following pair of linear equations are consistent or inconsistent. So, consistent means what? a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 or else a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. So, if a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, they both are inter intersecting lines which have only one solution if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 then they are coincident that is they have infinitely many solutions so using this only we will be finding whether it is consistent or inconsistent so if this two conditions are satisfied if any one of these conditions are satisfied then we will say that the given pair of linear equations are consistent if not we will say that it is inconsistent subdivision 1 3x plus 2y is equal to 5 2x minus 3y is equal to 7 so now we will be writing the given linear equations in general form is this in general form a1x plus b1y plus c is equal to 0 no isn't it so now we have to change it into general form so the general form for the given equations are First will be 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. We have to have constant co uh, variables, coefficients, everything in one side. No? So, only I am just writing it like this. So, this equation will become 2x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0. So, this will be equation 1 and this will be equation 2. So, now we will be comparing the coefficient of these variables and also the constant term. So, therefore, I will write a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 
C1 by C2. So now A1 by A2 is 3 by 2. And here it is 2 by minus 3. And here it is minus 5 by minus 7. So which is 5 by 7. So here A1 by A2 is 3 by 2. B1 by B2 is minus 2 by 3. And C1 by C2 is 5 by 7. So it is very very clear that A1 by A2 not equal to B1 by B2 not equal to C1 by C2. So therefore we will say that it is consistent. So therefore the given pair of linear equations is consistent. That's it. So now subdivision 2. 2x minus 3y is equal to 8. 4x minus 6y is equal to 9. So, these linear equations are not in the general form. So, we will be changing this to general form. So, therefore, the general form is 2x minus 3y minus 8 so plus 8 will become minus 8 is equal to 0 this is equation 1 and my equation 2 will be 4x minus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0 so this is my equation 2 so now i will be writing for a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 4 so 2 by 4 it is 1 by 2 Next it is b1 by b2 is equal to minus 3 by minus 6. So minus and minus will get cancelled. So 3 by 6 is 1 by 2. Next c1 by c2 is equal to minus 8 by minus 9. So minus and minus will get cancelled and nine, 8 by 9 is 8 by 9 only. So, we will be comparing these ratios. So, A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2, isn't it? So, 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Where C1 by C2 is 8 by 9. Is this equal? No. Therefore, C1 by C2 is not equal. So, therefore, if only this part is not equal, what is uh, the condition then? It is inconsistent. So, therefore, it is inconsistent. They are parallel. That is what. Okay. Subdivision 3. So, 3 by 2x plus 5 by 3y is equal to 7. 9x minus 10y is equal to 14. So, this is given. So, now first let us compare, uh, write this in a general form. So, solution. I will have it as 0. This is equation 1 and this is equation so now I will be writing for A1 by A2. So my A1 is 3 by 2 and my A2 is 9. So I will write 3. This will be 9 by 1. No, So 3 by 2 into 1 by 9. So I will have 1 by 6 here. So B1 by B2 is equal to. 5 by 3 into my minus 10 by 1. Okay, so 5 by 3 into minus 1 by 10. So 1, 2. So here it is 1 by, minus 1 by 6. So with this itself, I can just stop it because a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. So directly I can just say it is consistent. So therefore I will say a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So therefore it is consistent that is they have one solution that is intersecting point. Subdivision 4, 5x minus 3y is equal to 11, minus 10x plus 6y is equal to minus 22. So, in solution, so now first we have to write it in the general form. So, so this will be equation 1 and this will be equation 2.
so now what we will do we will be writing for a1 by a2 so 5 by minus 10 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and next it is b1 by b2 so therefore i will write minus 3 by 6 which is minus 1 by 2 again so since a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 i will go for c1 by c2 so c1 by c2 is equal to minus 11 by 22 which is also equal to minus 1 by 2 so now comparing the ratios that is a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 if you just compare all these everything is equal no so everything is equal so therefore i will say that it is dependent consistent it is also consistent Subdivision 5, 4 by 3x plus 2y is equal to 8, 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. So, these are the two given equations. So, now first let us write it in the general form. So, the general form it is 0. This will be equation 2. So, therefore, I will be checking for a1 by a2. So, a1 is 4 by 3 and my a2 is 2 by 1. Since this is in division form, I will be writing the denominator also in division. So, 4 by 3 into 1 by 2. So, therefore, 2 by 3 is my answer for a1 by a2. Now, I will check for b1 by b2 which is equal to 2 by 3. So, which is... I will write it over here. So, 2 by 3. So, C1 by C2 is equal to minus 8 by minus 12. Minus and minus will get cancelled. So, I will write over here. This is 2 times in 4 tables and 3 times. So, this is also equal to 2 by 3. So, since A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2 equal to C1 by C2, I will say that it is consistent. That's it. If you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it and also click the bell icon. If you have any doubts, mention it in the comment box. Like, comment, share and subscribe.